Morning, my sister and brother. Happy Monday. This is Bertel Warrior from Living Waters Movement, where I help women who are passionate about prayer start and launch their very own global prayer ministry. And if you would like a copy of my book, you could go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly backslash the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. So how was your weekend? How was your weekend? I had a full weekend, a beautiful weekend, and so we here we are. So I hope and pray that you did the same as well. So we are in E Shall Receive Power. We want the power of the Holy Spirit, uh, especially in these last days, my sister and brother. As we're getting ready for Jesus' second coming, we need to have the power so um, so that we can go ahead and proclaim the last message to a dying world, okay? So we are in cooperating with the divine power. Uh, let me pray, and then I'll pray again. It says here, um, let me pray. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you have clothed us in our right mind, Father God, and you have given us another day, Father God, to get our lives in order. So, Father God, we give you the praise, we give you the glory, we give you the honor. So, right now, Father God, I ask you that you will decrease me, Father God, so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And he stayed here. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and unto, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. This is coming from Acts chapter 1, verses 8. Father God, you have called us, Father God, for this time in earth history, Father God, so we ask you, Father God, to continue to be with each and every one of us, Father God. Give us the word that we need to speak to our friends and family members. Father God, we thank you for hearing. We thank you for answering. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Stay here. God has determined to leave nothing undone to recover man from the toils of the enemy. After Christ's ascension, the Holy Spirit was given to man to assist all who would cooperate with him in the reshaping and the remolding of human characters. The Holy Spirit's part of the work has been defined by our Savior. He said, He will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. And this is coming from John 16, verses 8. The Holy Spirit is the convictor and the sanctifier as well. As none can repent of their sins unless they are convicted, the necessity of uniting the Spirit with us is in our labor. Let me go back. As none can repent of their sins unless they are convicted, and necessities of uniting the Spirit with us in our labor to reach the fallen is apparent. All our human abilities will be exercised in vain unless we are united to the heavenly intelligence. It is through the lack of knowledge that the of vitalizing truth and the corrupting influence of error that men are falling so low, sunk in the depths of sinful degradation, Angels and men are to work in harmony to teach the truth of God to those who are unlearned therein, that they may be set free from the bonds of sin. It is truth alone that makes man free. This liber liberty, this freedom, through the knowledge of the truth, is to be proclaimed to every creature. Let me repeat that. This liberty... This freedom, through the knowledge of the truth, is to be proclaimed to every creature. Jesus Christ, God Himself, and the angels of heaven are on. Let me go back. Father God, I ask you to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It's stayed here. Jesus Christ, God Himself, and the angels of heaven are interested in this grand and holy work. Man has been given the exalted privilege of revealing the divine character by unselfishly engaging in the effort to rescue man from the pits of ruin 
into which he has been plunged. Every human being who will submit to be enlightened by the Holy Spirit is to be used for the accom accomplishment of this divinely conceived purpose. Christ is the heart of this church. Let me repeat that. Christ is the heart of his church, and it will glorify him the more to have every portion of that church engage in the work of salvations of soul. Let me repeat this. Christ is the head of his church, and it will glorify him the more to have every portion of that church engage in the work for the salvation of souls. But the human workers need to leave more room for the Holy Spirit to work, that the laborers may be bound together and move forward in the strength of a united body of soldiers. Let all remember that we are a spectacle unto the world and to angels and to men. And this is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 9. So that concludes my devotion, my sister, my brother, cooperating with divine power. Mm, that's a lot. Cooperating with divine power. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message, Father God. Father God, right now, Father God, we surrender our lives to you, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to use to empty us, Father God, of self and fill us, Father God, with the power to do what you have called each and every one of us to do, Father God. And that is to proclaim the last message, to warn individual that you are coming soon, that Babylon, the fall system, is about to fall, Father God. And individual need to come out of that system under your banner, Father God. So we thank you, Father God, that you are God, Father God. You sit high, but you look low. And you're very merciful, God, God, Father God. We thank you for hearing our prayers, Father God. We thank you for answering, Father God. And Father God, we'll give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. And we thank you, Father God. We thank you for loving us. We thank you, Father God, for caring so much about each and every one of us. And so, Father God, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, so if this is a blessing to you, uh, can you do me a favor? Can you just hit the like, uh, make a comment, go over to YouTube. Um, there you'll find a, a wealth of information under Burdell Warrior. Go ahead and share, share, share. And for those of you that would like, um, for those of you that have supported my ministry, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And if you would like a copy of my book, you can go to bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. Second book is bit.ly backslash the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. And my sister and brother, I thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. May God continue to reach with us, you and your family. But before we go, let us do the four hugs for survival. Four, four, four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, one more. Four. Thank you so much, my sister and brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you. Appreciate it until tomorrow. Uh, be blessed and take care. As far as I know, I will be should be on my regular schedule tomorrow, but nevertheless, I will get the message out, okay? Um, this is the time that we all need to be fasting and praying. There was another church that was doing that uh, 24 hours. I believe it was uh, Saturday sundown to Sunday sundown. They were doing, um, the whole church was doing uh, fasting and praying <clears throat> in another location. So my husband and I was listening to some of their um, some of their sermons that they had different speakers at different time. And it was really wonderful because back in the day, that's what we used to do. We used to have, um, was all, we would say all night prayer service. It started at, um, I guess, when the sun was down and then we prayed all the way until in the morning. It was a wonderful time. So we need to get back to that, my sister, brother. I know some of us cannot get out. But we can still, you know, gather together with one, 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 one another, you know, in, in the presence of God and just intercede uh, for what is going on now and what is about to happen. 
because some people say, well, it's going to get better. No, my sister and brother will not get better. It's, uh, how would you say? It's going to increase. The birthing pain is going to be increased because God has already made a decree that we have to warn the world for individual to make the final choice, whether for life or for death, life or death. So we have to proclaim the last message and God has given us the power if we surrender our life and allow him to take full control that we can go ahead and proclaim and warn individual because it's not about us. It's about us uh, having the love of Jesus and sharing that love. And with the love, there's also the law and we all have to abide by the law of God, my sister, brother. So with that, my sister, brother, love you, appreciate you until tomorrow. Be blessed and take care.